Hey, it's Erica. Welcome to part two of my first listen for Bacon's Hello World fourth mini album. I'm very excited to finish this out. Gotta break up into parts. YouTube doesn't like it when there's more than like four songs on it. So since there's five songs, checking out for this one. It'd be weird to do four songs and one. So I do three and two and then final album thoughts on this part. So yeah, part one included Good Morning, Rendezvous, and Cold Heart. This is gonna be Woo. And truth be told, um, yeah, not Pineapple Slice. If you want my thoughts on that music video reaction, we'll have those. Uh, but yeah, excited. I kind of love what we're serving for this album. Just R&B. That's what he does. That's what he do well. And we love it for him. And we stand. Yes, I'm loving all the tracks so far. They've been really great. Excited to kind of see what the last two are. Um, but yeah, so I do color code lyric readers for this. I find it best for you and for me um, to a follow along together. <laughs> Um, and, um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. Follow along together, uh, in real time, see what's happening with the track, you know, lyric translations, all the good stuff. Um, but if they're wrong, please don't kill the messenger. Um, uh, but yeah, so we're gonna finish her out. Uh, let's go ahead and get, woo! Um, yeah, I will say though, the first three tracks, including the tile track, not Cold Heart, um, did some, seem to have like, a little bit more, uh, be maybe a little bit more happier vibe, these ones. Who knows what we're getting? Cold Heart was a breakup song, so... She got cold heart, so let's get woo. Okay. Said you don't feel that kick in your ears, girl. Is it just? Okay, no, there's other instruments. I was like, is it just gonna be like this bass kicking or what? Oh, wait, yo, it's one of these. It's one of those. Shouldn't be surprised. Shouldn't be surprised. Wow. All right, Bake at least he's letting you know. He's letting you know, girl. From night till morning, girl. I'm just seeing production credits. Ooh, yeah. Dress. Jane Run. He has really, he's like. I kind of like seeing like the credits for production and seeing who he's working with. Very descriptive visual lyrics. I like it. Best of the whole life? Right, ad libs for the win, girl. All right, that one wasn't sad, but that one was spicy, spicy. Um, not surprised at all. Um, I mean, like you know when he goes on, when he would go on like live and he play music and you're just like, what we do with Baker? Um, so it definitely makes sense. Um, uh, but I like it. I mean, 
obby. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like it. The production of it was great, and it's really cool again to see look at like the production credits and uh, kind of see who he's working with and how he expands and like going to a different label offers new like opportunity to work with different people. You know, even though SM is very diverse in who they choose to produce their songs for their artists, whether they're like in house, whether they're like other artists, or whether it's just like regular kind of K-pop Korean music producers or they kind of like outsource to the US. Um, they, they've always been really diverse with that so can't like hate on anything like they've done. Uh, but kind of seeing what he's doing here is really really cool. So um, yeah, I really liked it. I mean girl who, what, what girl wouldn't like woo girl. Um, but yeah, last track, truth be told, uh, is it going to be a ballad? Are you going to make me cry, Baekhyun? Um, uh, been there before, uh, but yeah, really excited how we finishing this out, girl. How, what are you gonna do to me, Bacon? Uh, let's go. Nope. Maybe? Where are we going? Where are you gonna take me? What is tragical? Tragic and magical? So this is not really like a ballad ballad. Oh, oh something's kicking in. Did I hear bird chirpings or am I tripping? I ain't tripping. Okay, like a little baby drop for the chorus, all right. What is that? Ooh, that type of R&B girl that I like. Okay. Maybe a little singer for Whoever did this to this man got my man all the messed up, girl. Uh, all kinds of messed up. There he goes with them ad libs again, they get me every time. Mm -mm, girl. Yeah, I mean, the production of it, yeah, it's that type of like RB, you're like, oh, we doing this? You know what I mean? But this one, whoever. Whoever done did this to this man got my man fucked up, girl. Um, so much, so much. That's kind of what the song is, girl. You got him mashed up, but I really liked it. There's not like a very ballad type of song. Maybe Cold Hearters are closest, but she extra saucy, so maybe not. Um, but I kind of like what we got here. We got RB, we got a little bit different flavors here and there, you know what I mean? Not, there's not one song that sounds like the other, but they still kind of overall give like a bacon vibe. Um, and it's just straight up RB, and this is what my man is going to do. This is what he going to do, girl. Um, so, not mad at it at all. Not at all. Zero, zero. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I like them all. They're all going to be added to my playlist, girl. Um, Various on t on various playlists. Can't just throw all of them in one one. You know, there's different vibes here. You know what I mean. But Rendezvous is cool. She's kind of like the more kind of like most probably like upbeat song. She's fun. 
playful. Uh, and the other ones, sometimes it's just like pure R&B. Other ones were kind of sad. Other ones, it's a spicy moment. The other one, it's just like you got him messed up. Um, so yeah, I like it. I like the variety of concepts kind of getting here. Um, and yeah, I would kind of separate like the first three and the last three as kind of being like this one, the last year are kind of like very much in your feels and the first few are kind of just like really great R&B tracks, any situation, these ones. You ain't always gonna want to listen to Cold Heart, girl, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, overall I really liked it. I think it's a great album. It's a great sort of step out for him. Um, it's nothing I feel like super crazy, unlike what we haven't gotten from him before. I mean, he's given us R&B, different kinds of R&B at that. So, um, and just sort of expanding on that in his career and stuff. And you know, kind of working with different people. Well, I have, I'm not gonna check all the production credits for all his B-sides, you know what I mean? But kind of seeing who he's working with here, I'm like, okay, this is cool. Like, I feel like he's expanding a little bit. Um, so that's really cool to be interesting to see what we get from him. Maybe he's just goes kind of transitions from K-pop to more Korean R&B. That would definitely be an interesting place to go. Um, maybe that's a slight step in what this direction is. But again, it's not so unlike what he was kind of giving us before within his um, music and stuff like that. But overall, yeah, I enjoyed it. I think it was great. I think it's a great album. It's a great addition to his discography and his music. And um, yeah, I mean, I love R&B as a genre, so I think it's always really cool and interesting when, like, with R&B so being kind of very, like, trendy and popular within K-pop. Uh, and artists like Bacon, he was giving us R&B since, like, day one. Girl, what is love? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Um, and kind of, like, again, giving us some of them, like, excellent stuff, but also with solo music kind of just seeing, kind of just, still kind of just getting R&B albums from him still, I think it's just like really, really cool uh, because then it's it's not just like a trend for him, it's not just a thing, no, it's it's who he is as an artist, what he's presenting to us, so shout out to that. Um, and I really loved it. I think, yeah, all the tracks are really good. You get tracks for many different situations if you need uh, all, 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 all situations necessary are here. Any type of thing you would go through, Bacon got you, girl. Who knew Bacon had the back in your own back like this? I knew. I know. Because I've been knowing. I've been knowing. I've been an EXO all for almost a decade. <laughs> and I just suffer every day for it. Um, but yeah, overall, loved it. It's, she's amazing. Go to your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about uh, Bacon on Hello World, the fourth mini album. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, the right description down below. Or at the end screen, if you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica. Currently playing Spider-Man too so if you can join me over there for that link in the description down below thank you so so much for watching love you and i'll talk to you later bye <laughs>